Let me begin by thanking you for a chance to give a presentation here. My topic today is association between blood flow in the temporal optic nerve head and several visual function in glaucoma patient. There are my financial disclosures. Today's topics include first, AI assisted denoising of optical coherence angiography OCTA images. Second, deep circulation within the peripapillary PPA zone and associated factors. I would like to talk about first topics. It is already known that the measurement of OCP RNFT suffer from a flow effect in patients with advanced glaucoma. Recently, OCTA parameters are shown to be associated with deterioration of visual field in the severe stage of glaucoma. The lower panel shows the evidence that LSFG also suffered from the flow effect in advanced glaucoma, but OCTA measurement vessel density does not. So this data suggests OCTA measurement of radial peripapillary capillary RPCs in advanced glaucoma should have no flow effect. It has been reported that RPC density measured with OCTA correlated with glaucomatous visual field impairment, and RPC vessel density decreased in preperimetric glaucoma. However, significant image noise may be introduced to OCTA image due to various factors. Therefore, even though measurement RPC based density may be useful for following glaucoma, when interpreting RPC result image noise may interfere with accurate evaluation of RPCs. Here, we investigated the usefulness of AI-assisted image denoising in glaucoma. This method of noise reduction uses a training set of average image taken with various shooting condition, so the model can learn the appearance pattern of random noise. This time, we use the deep learning noise reduction CNN model installed in Canon HS100. We developed noise reduction CNN using noise-free average image as a training data. This slide shows the effect of our uh, deep learning denoising technique on OCTA image quality. The upper panel shows the wide view and lower panel shows the enlargement view. The left field shows the input OCT image and the middle panel shows the average of five image. And the right panel shows noise reduction image from our single input image. Deep learning denotes result in a sharper image than average image. The subject includes 94 glaucoma patient and 24 normal cases. There are no significant differences in sex, uh, spherical equivalent, or IOP. There are our result. The table shows the correlation between RPC vessel density and visual field with and without deep learning denoids at different glaucoma stages. In the middle stage, a correlation was obtained with all method. On the other hand, uh, by using deep learning denoids, we are able to obtain significant correlation with visual field in advanced stage. This suggests uh, deep learning denoids was useful and was able to identify significant correlation between RPCs and with the visual field in late stage of glaucoma. In short summary one, RPC vessel density correlated with the visual field in a wide range of disease stages. And denoising image with deep learning is useful for evaluating advanced glaucoma. Next, I would like to talk about deep circulation within the PPA zone and associated factors. This figure showed a schematic diagram of vasculature intervention of optic nerve head. The surface of the retina, NFL, is supported by branch of central retinal artery 
and the deep area of optic nerve is supported by short posterior serial artery SPCA. Recently, uh, central flow from the uh, peripapillary choroid has been identified as an important source of laminar and preliminary tissue perfusion. Thus, SPCA supports the laminar cribrosa and the peripapillary choroid. Moreover, it has been demonstrated to be involved in glaucoma pathogenesis. Lee et al. showed the microvasculature dropout MVD in the peripapillary atrophy area can often be detected with OCTA imaging. They also demonstrated that OCTA measured MVD in the PPA zone is almost identical to perfusion defect in Indocianine green angiography. In this study, we investigated OCTA measurement signal intensity in PPA in 105 NTG patient and 20 age matched control with myopia. The inclusion criteria were as described here. Here, we investigated the association between visual acuity related papillary macular bundle GCC thickness, temporal tissue blood flow MT with laser spectrography, and vessel density of a colloidal layer in PPA with OCT angiography, uh, now called PPACI, and central visual field sensitivity of the central four test point with Humphrey field analyzer. This slide shows the characteristic of MTG patient and glaucoma-free control with myopic disc. There are no difference in age, sex, or action ranks. We found that red highlighted uh, variables were significantly different between the two groups. Myoptic MTG patient had lower temporal disc blood flow and PPACI. This slide shows the factors correlated with PPACI, central retinal structure, and visual function. We found that PPACI was significantly associated with temporal disc optic blood flow and parameters of central visual function, including central visual threshold and visual acuity. This slide shows the contributing factors to PPACI in three different models of March variant analysis. The March variant analysis revealed that PMV GCCT thickness and central visual function were significantly contribute to the circulation of deep PPA layers. I would like to discuss about law of circulation in PPACI. Here, we found the correlation between Templar MT measured by LSFG and PPACI measured by OCT angiography and also central visual functions in glaucoma. The previously, choroid is thin or absent in the PPA zone, and the PPA zone shows larger perfusion defect in Indocianine green angiography in NTG patient than controls. Thus, impaired deep PPA circulation might affect microcirculation in adjacent temporal optic nerve head, thereby contributing to decreased axoplasmic flow of retinal ganglion cell and central visual field defects. In show summary 2, decreased PPACI was associated with reduced LSFG measured temporal tissue blood flow and with deterioration of both central retinal structure and visual function in eye with NTZ and myoptic disc. In conclusion, AI assisted denoising of RPC image is useful for evaluating advanced glaucoma. In impairment of deep circulation in the temporal branch of SPCA, both inside and outside the optic nerve head, may induce glaucomatous changes in the laminar clip rosa and affect central visual function. Thank you very much for your attention.